IPX is we're here at PCIM 2025 on the Yagio booth. You have all used ceramic capacitors before. You're not an engineer if you haven't. They are reliable, compact, and usually at a great price point. But it's time to find out what Yagio is doing to differentiate themselves. Let's talk first with Simon. Love to meet you, Simon. Hey, nice to meet you, Elliot. About the industries that their ceramic capacitors are being used in, and then we'll jump right into some new innovations in the field. Let's go. What industries are these being used for? So the ceramic capacitors are used typically in all kinds of applications in different industries. The biggest one that we see right now is really going to be AI, computing and enterprise systems. That has a high demand for ceramic capacitors. And then we're also looking at a lot of the automotive industries. Um, as vehicles get more electrified, more and more ceramic capacitors are actually being used in that type of application and in that particular industry. So those, I would say, are probably the strongest ones that we're working in. Amazing. So AI is a huge buzzword at the moment. It's not just a buzzword, but it's a very popular topic. How specifically, or if I was talking to an engineer who was implementing a system that was using AI capabilities, how are they going to use your ceramic capacitors in that build? Well, as you start seeing higher and higher switching frequencies in a lot of the applications, you will see that um, traditional capacitors in resonant converters like film, they just aren't going to meet up to that task. So that's when we start switching to ceramic capacitors because they are made to handle those high switching frequencies. And so that's really where we start seeing that switch to start considering more energy dense packaging and higher switching frequencies. Yeah. Higher switching frequencies means small, uh, smaller components and that's where uh, our capacitors capacitors can actually be used in those areas. Amazing. So here on IP Exchange, we're all about new and disruptive tech. So we want to find out what is new at the Yagio booth. What is new in ceramic capacitors? I see you've got quite a few footprints here, quite a few different uh, parts that are available. Let's talk about some innovations that Yagio has got in ceramic capacitors. Yeah, so one of the really cool options that we have right here is our Connect series. Mm -hmm. So with Connect, that allows us to have leadless stack capacitors. So when you start leadlessly stacking multiple capacitors, that means you save board space because you can fit multiple parts in the same footprint that you would typically have. So that allows you to have four capacitors, higher capacitance availability, but you don't take up more board space. Mm. So that's one of the really cool options for that. It's that like allows building upwards, not outwards. The what? It's building upwards, not outwards. Exactly, yeah. So you can have, instead of, you can easily see this here in this example. We have the KC Link board. This is an array. This is a 16 by 4 array. And it just kind of shows you how much board space is taken up if you have them all laid out and flat. And here, at the same size, we have the uh, Connect series, and so we have a 4x4 four four array. Same capacitance, same frequency, but it takes up about a fourth of the overall board space. So that's the huge benefit of using it this way. Okay, great. So let's talk about designs, footprints, 3D models, data sheets. Do you give it all to the engineers? How easy do you make it to get right in and start using your ceramic capacitors? You know, that's actually funny that you mentioned this because it's a really big point for us. E2DI is one of the main focuses for us. We try to make it easy for the designers to use our product. So we offer design tools. They are freely available on our website. You can see Wysim, which gives you a capacitor simulation tool that offers you to see different types of voltage bias effects, different frequency responses to how that capacitor is going to perform in your actual application before you buy the product and put it in your application. We also have right. the 3D drawings. We have step files. It's available to you. You have data sheets, we have spec sheets, and of course we have product managers and FAEs available that can help you in your design process to make sure that you use the latest and greatest technologies and especially use the right technology for your application. So that's really what one of our biggest focuses is, is E2DI, easy to design in. Awesome, that is just one of the product ranges that Yagio has to display here at PCIM. Simon, thank you very much for your time. Hey.